Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. Every business conversation hinges on that pivotal opening moment, the first minute. This brief window is your opportunity to establish clarity and set the tone. Failing to capitalize on this crucial phase can lead to misunderstandings or a disengaged audience, especially in high-stakes business environments. Mastering this initial exchange is imperative for anyone looking to lead, persuade, or inform effectively. In this summary, you'll learn how to expertly frame your business interactions to capture and maintain attention from the start. You'll discover the power of structured summaries that guide your audience succinctly through complex information and understand the importance of time checks and validation to ensure your communication is timely and relevant. Whether you're crafting a crucial email, leading a meeting, or responding on the fly during a presentation, these strategies will ensure that every business communication is efficient and has an impact. You'll see how applying these techniques across various platforms can significantly enhance your effectiveness and professional reputation. Ready? Let's go! Chapter 1 Mastering the Art of Framing for Clearer Communication Picture this. You walk into a meeting for which you have important updates that could reshape the course of a project. You start speaking, but within minutes, your audience looks confused, asking for clarifications on points you haven't even reached yet. What went wrong? The reason could very likely be poor framing. Now, consider the power of starting that same meeting by succinctly stating the project name, your need for a decision, and the immediate issue at hand all within the first 15 seconds. This is framing, and it's a simple yet powerful tool to steer your communications towards success. Framing should be part of every form of communication, whether it's a quick corridor chat or a formal presentation. It's made up of three key components, context, intent, and key message. First, context sets the stage by informing your audience about the subject at hand. This might be as straightforward as naming the project or topic you're discussing. It's about aligning your audience's focus with yours right from the start. Next comes intent. Here, you clarify what you expect from the audience following your communication. Are you looking for input, seeking a decision, or simply informing them of a change? Specifying your intent helps your listeners understand how to process and respond to the information you're providing. For instance, if you need to push a deadline, stating this intent up front can prepare your audience for the implications of this shift, ensuring everyone listens with the appropriate mindset. The third component, the key message, is arguably the most significant. This is the core of your communication, the essential piece of information that your audience needs to know. It should be delivered concisely and early in the conversation to grab attention and direct focus. For example, if a critical milestone is going to be missed, leading with this fact sets a clear agenda for the ensuing discussion. Effective framing clarifies and enhances communication. By introducing these three elements at the beginning of your interaction, you make your communication efforts more efficient and effective. This method reduces the need for back-and-forth clarification, saves time, and minimizes the risk of misunderstandings. Let's apply these concepts. Suppose you need to update your team on several ongoing projects. Start by stating, I have updates on three projects that require different actions. Then, break down your communication by framing each project separately within the conversation. For example, first, regarding Project X, we need to decide on the proposed budget increase today. This keeps your messages distinct and your team engaged, as they will know exactly what each topic entails and what's expected of them. Mastering the art of framing can transform your interactions, making every minute count. It allows you to control the narrative, ensures your audience is with you every step of the way, and dramatically increases the efficiency of your communications. Start practicing this technique in your next conversation and notice the immediate improvement in clarity and engagement. But that's just the beginning. 
In the next section you'll learn how to use structured summaries to keep your audience on track. Chapter 2. Clear Communication with Structured Summaries Say you're tasked with introducing a complex project at work and new software implementation, perhaps. You start detailing every aspect right from the get-go, only to notice your audience's eyes glazing over. It's a common trap, diving too deeply, too quickly. What if you could capture and maintain your audience's attention right from the start, ensuring they grasp the essence of your message instantly? This is where the art of creating structured summaries comes in. A structured summary revolves around a straightforward framework known as the GPS method goal, problem, solution. Follow this to sharpen your message and effectively guide your audience through the narrative. Let's break down how you can leverage this in your communications. First, define the goal. This is what you aim to achieve. For instance, if you're discussing new software, your goal might be to enhance company operations through its functionalities. Next, identify the problem. This could be the issues the current system is causing that the new software aims to solve. Finally, propose the solution how implementing the new software will address these problems. One common mistake in workplace communication is the overwhelming urge to share every detail up front. This often leads to lengthy, directionless conversations that are hard for the audience to follow. Instead, by using the GPS method, you keep the dialogue focused and purpose-driven. Begin with a broad overview and narrow down to specifics only when necessary. This ensures that discussions are not only concise but also aligned with the objective of solving a problem rather than just describing it. Applying this method effectively means starting every conversation with clarity about what needs to be achieved, what stands in the way, and how you propose to overcome these obstacles. For example, instead of starting a meeting by talking through the chronological events that led to a decision, you could directly state what needs to be decided, why it's important, and what the potential solutions are. This shift from a detail-first to a solution-first approach enhances the productivity of your interactions. Remember, the goal is not to oversimplify complex topics, but rather to make them accessible and actionable. Even intricate issues like budget allocations or technical project hurdles can be distilled into clear, strategic communications. This doesn't mean stripping away all complexities, rather, it's about highlighting the path from problem to solution in a way that's easy for everyone to understand. By practicing the GPS method, you'll find that your conversations become more streamlined and focused. You'll spend less time circling back to clarify points and more time driving toward meaningful outcomes. So, next time you need to communicate something important at work, whether it's a project update, a problem resolution, or a strategic pivot, try framing it with a structured summary. This approach will make your message clearer and more compelling, ensuring that your audience understands and remembers the essential points, ready to take action. So remember, GPS. By focusing on the goal, articulating the problem, and outlining a forward-looking solution, you set the stage for productive and positive communications that propel your projects forward. But that's not all. Ensuring your message lands properly also depends on timely validation and effective time checks. You'll discover how to master these techniques in the next section. Chapter 3. How to ensure your conversations are timely and effective. You're ready to dive into a discussion about an important project at work. You walk up to a colleague and casually ask, Do you have a minute? But what if that minute turns into 10, or even 20? Suddenly, what seemed a simple question can disrupt your colleague's schedule and possibly strain your professional relationship. The key to effective communication isn't just in what or how you speak, but also in ensuring that your audience is prepared and available to listen right from the start. The first step to any successful conversation at work is conducting a quick time check. Instead of vaguely asking if someone has a minute, be upfront about the time you'll need. If you anticipate that the discussion will take 10 minutes, say so. This sets the right expectations and also respects your listeners' time and other commitments. 
It's a simple shift that can drastically reduce misunderstandings and show that you value others' time. Following the time check, you can use what's called a validation checkpoint. This step comes after you've framed your conversation and laid out a structured summary of what you intend to discuss. Here, you confirm that the person you're talking to is indeed the right one to help with your issue and that they're still able to engage. Ask directly if they still have time to talk or whether there's a better moment to continue the conversation. These checks are useful because they ensure that your audience has both the ability and the availability to engage with you. You might find that the person you thought could authorize a new expenditure actually can't or that they're preoccupied with another urgent matter and can't provide the attention your topic requires. These steps may seem minor, but they can play a significant role in how effectively you communicate. By clearly asking for the exact amount of time you need and confirming the listener's capacity to engage, you pave the way for more focused and productive discussions. Plus, this approach prevents you from trapping someone in a conversation that isn't right for them at the moment, which can save both of you time and frustration. In essence, successful communication in the workplace is about more than just exchanging information, it's about making sure that both parties are on the same page from the beginning. By respecting time and confirming availability, you enhance not only the quality of your interactions, but also your reputation as a considerate and effective communicator. So you've looked at framing, structured summaries, and timing. In the final section, you'll learn how to bring this all together in different situations. Chapter 4, Clear Communication Across Platforms in the First Minute how can you improve communication across your workplace a challenge that spans emails, meetings, and even instant messages? Effective communication isn't just about what or how much you say, it's about clarity and timing. Whether you're sending an email or leading a meeting, the way you structure your message can make or break its success. Emails, often the backbone of corporate communication, demand clarity and conciseness. When composing an email, use the subject line for context and the opening line to express your intent clearly. Structure your email body with bullet points defining the goal, problem, and solution. This will clarify your message while also respecting the recipient's time by allowing them to grasp the email's purpose at a glance. In meeting invitations, clarity begins with the invite. A well-structured invitation should include the meeting's purpose and expected outcome right at the start. This preparation ensures that every participant understands why they are there and what they need to contribute, reducing the time spent on clarifications during the meeting itself. Presentations also benefit from a clear structure. Starting with a concise summary that outlines the context, goal, and problem can engage and orient your audience right from the beginning, setting the stage for a focused discussion. Instant messaging platforms require a balance of informality and clarity. Even in quick exchanges, structuring your messages with clear intent and a brief summary can prevent miscommunication and unnecessary back and forth. For those unexpected moments during interviews or impromptu questions, applying these structured communication techniques can help you respond confidently and effectively. Framing your response with context and a summary of the issue at hand shows that you can think on your feet and communicate with precision. Escalating issues demands clarity that cuts through the noise. Clearly framing the escalation with a structured summary ensures that your message will be not just heard but acted upon. This approach focuses on solutions rather than problems, facilitating effective decision-making. Even positive news benefits from structured communication. When sharing achievements or updates, framing the context and focusing on the outcomes keeps your audience engaged and appreciative of the good news. No matter the scenario, the key is to make the first minute count. By setting clear expectations and summarizing your points effectively, you lay a foundation for communication that's both efficient and effective. As you adopt these techniques across different formats, you'll find that your communications will improve, as will your professional reputation. By mastering these approaches, you can make sure that every message you send is geared toward understanding and action, making every minute of your communications as productive as possible.
Final Summary In this summary to the first minute by Chris Fenning, you've learned that effective business communication hinges significantly on the initial moments of interaction. Mastering the art of framing ensures that every conversation begins with clarity and purpose, setting the stage for more productive dialogue. Use structured summaries to concisely navigate complex information, making every interaction actionable and focused. Furthermore, the importance of timely validation and effective time checks cannot be overstated. These strategies guarantee that your communication will be heard and welcomed. By applying these principles across various platforms from emails to meetings, you can enhance your capability to communicate effectively, ensuring that each message is clear and every minute counts. With these tools, you're well-equipped to boost your professional communication skills, propelling your projects and career forward with every word you speak or write. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, Keep striving for success.